Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I make my little brooms for my uh, dollhouse. So I take a skewer, this one's kind of painted up because I was using it for something else. Um, and I take and just kind of very lightly, just very carefully, just kind of work that in there. And you can use your saw if you want, but because it's so little, I don't really want to take much of it off. But I take just a tiny, tiny bit off to give it a flat surface. And then I follow my line to the other side. Just enough to get it down in there. And then I take a little bit more off. Okay, so then you end up with this flat piece as opposed to being round. And you can kind of eyeball it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be hidden. The next thing I do is I take the inside of a paracord and I take it apart. And then I go across my sewing machine and I stitch it together. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't know how to sew, you can just glue it on and that'll be fine too. Alright, next thing I do is I take one half that I've taken the edge of the wood off and I'm going to glue it to it and start wrapping it like this. Okay, once I have part of that done then I go ahead and I glue the rest of it. Be very careful not to get your fingers because this will be hot. If the hot glue comes out, don't worry about that because we can trim that off. And then you push it together. And because I don't want that hot glue on there, I'm just going to trim it off. And there you have a very soft bristle broom rather than using the inside of twine rope or twine rope for your broom. You can use this because it's very, very soft. And this is the inside of paracord. You just pull it out, cut a piece, and it pulls right out super easy. And there you have a broom. Now you can age it if you like. And one thing about this too that I like is it's so soft that you can actually use it to dust your dollhouse with. And I'm going to go over that hot glue a little bit right there because there's still a tiny bit in there that I didn't get completely covered. And if you can't get it off completely, you can always take a thin piece of the rope and put it back over top of it to hide it. All right, so that's it for that. That was a super, super simple one minute tutorial. Paracord, um, a moon skewer. Toothpicks are too skinny. Um, some of the skewers are really thick, so you have to be careful what you get. Um, I'll show you the difference. You can even use a teeny tiny wooden dowel as well. Sorry about that. See the difference in the size? They're both bamboo skewers. Um, and you can tell, you can see the little um, pieces of bamboo forming, the little circles in there. But 
there's a big difference in the size. So you want to get one that's a little bigger than a toothpick, but not quite as big as this. This would be good for Barbie size. This is good for 112. And then that's it for that. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And I will be showing you here soon how to make all these really cool shelves. Let me kind of give you a sneak peek. These will be coming soon. All right, so like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.